Hello. Um, I thought about the coronavirus that's been spreading. Last count, it was 108 people. It seems every day there's um, a new total. Last count today was what, 108 plus over 4,500 people, 4,583 or something. But the thing is, the day before it was 2,900, the day before that it was like 1,500, and you're like, oh, or was it the day before? No, no, it was 2,015. Mm. I'm getting confused now. Anyway, I do know that this virus is spreading rapidly. And I'm talking, I remember keeping track of the SARS virus back in the day just to see what the total was. And this one is going to another level. And I don't think it's going to be able to be stopped because already China has cracked down hardcore and it's still spreading. It's not stopping. So what's my point? My point is just advice. Go, if you do not have some kind of cold and pain medication, go to the store and get some pain and cold medication. Do it today or tomorrow, whenever, but do it. And the reason why is, basically, if it does become, what I foresee, if this becomes, it makes it into the United States, there will be a mass panic and people will go to the store and buy food and flu and cold medication. And this will happen in a couple of weeks as it keeps on ex, you know, accelerating exponentially. It's not going linearly. It's going in a curved manner like this. So tomorrow I wouldn't be surprised if it's 7,000. The next day I wouldn't be surprised if it's like almost 10,000. The next day, 14. The next day, you know, it just keeps on going 18, 25, you know. Next thing you know, within a week, we could be at 50,000, no, no, yeah, 50,000 cases. And then a week after that, it could be a million cases. Well, maybe not a million, but yeah, soon enough, it will get to the point where you're like, there will be a run on all these things. And the problem is that this is going to cause a lot, 25% of the people, and that's a staggering number, is it 15%, 15 to 25% of the people have pneumonia and they have to go to the hospital. Here's the thing. There's only so many rooms for the hospital for people to be taken. Eventually, those rooms will be, they're going to have to build buildings and put people in those rooms. And, and for people who have, you know, the cold, it's good to have some kind of medication when, if they're overcrowded or whatever. So anyway, my whole point is <laughs> get some flu and cold medication. Just do it right now before the big run comes. As FDR once said, we only, only thing to fear is fear itself. And that's what you really should fear. Not necessarily the flu, but the fear from the flu. And that there will be a mass panic and people will buy all the flu and cold remedies and then you have nothing. And what if you even have a normal flu and cold? You won't be able to get it because the stores will be out of stock. So just, just get a $10 flu and cold thing. It's not going to kill you. Just my two cents. All right. That's about it. Have a nice day. Bye.